Hi everyone, in this lesson we are going to look at vertically opposite angles and the goal is to find uh, the unknown angles using the property of vertically opposite angles. Okay, now I'm not going to prove that vertically opposite angles are equal, that is something you've already proven, but if you want to uh, you want to see how it's being proven, okay, I'm, I actually can prove vertically opposite angles using angles on a straight line. So if you want to see how I do that, click on the link that side here and I will show you how. So let's move on. So now let's say I'm given these two straight lines. Okay, I have EF and GH. Now please take note, vertically opposite angles, it can only happen when it's two straight lines. So I have EF here, and I, sorry, I have GH there, and I have EF here. So I've got two straight lines. Now when they intersect, the angles that are opposite each other, vertically opposite each other, so B and D, B, oops, sorry, so, so B and D are equal, so there's something you must remember, B and D are equal, A and C are equal as well. Alright, so that's what we mean by vertically opposite angles. So let's say I'm given that angle D is 43 degrees. So angle D is 43 degrees. So what is the other, un other, other angles? Okay, so now, immediately I know that B is also 43 degrees because of the vertically opposite angle property. Okay, so vertically opposite angles are equal, remember that. Now how do I find A? Well, EF is a straight line, right? So what have we learned before? We've learned that angles on a straight line equals or is 180 degrees, very good. So angle A, angle A is equal to 180 degrees minus 43. And if you calculate that out, then angle A is 137 degrees. So let me fill this all in. This 137 degrees. So check. Yes, 137 is obtuse angle. This looks obtuse to me. And if angle A is 137, then what is angle C? Angle C is also 137 because they are vertically opposite angles. Okay, so that's how you can use vertically opposite angles to help you find unknown angles. It's very easy. Now again, if you want to explore more, I have a fun link for you. You can copy the link up above, or you can click the link at the side, or I'll put the links down below again, and I'll show you how it looks like. So this is how the website looks like, and for this, it's, it's quite fun. You can actually play and, and oops, drag it around. So you see that no matter how much I drag, because these are two straight lines, the vertically opposite angles are always equal. Okay, so you can play around, you can just move it as much as you want, you will notice that it's always equal. The vertically opposite angles are always equal. Right, so now that you've learnt what is vertically opposite angles and how to find unknown angles, how about you give this a try? Okay, now remember this, a few things you need to take note. P, O, Q and R, O, S. So where is P, O, Q? Let's, let me highlight this for you. So P, O, Q is this line here, this vertical line, and R, O, S are straight lines, okay? T, O is perpendicular to P, Q, all right? So there are a few clues given. You're supposed to find X, okay? So remember this, huh? all right? Vertically opposite angles only applies to two straight lines that intersect. Okay, they must be two straight lines that intersect. Okay, so there's a big clue that I'm giving you. So find angle X and we'll come back to class and discuss.